What's good, y'all? Al Famous, living my life, not thinking about it twice. Don't be scared to like, subscribe, or share this dope content if you like it. Let's get it. Yeah, let's get it. Now, being that it's Throwback Thursday, I'm going to give y'all some throwback stories, you heard? Especially coming out of New York City, you heard? Now, look, the first one go like this. Now, I, I told y'all, when I was ten year, when I was nine years old, I got put away, I got put in the group home, you heard? So I was in the group home from nine to 12, you know what I'm saying? That's two and a half years, you know what I'm saying? And basically, when I went, I, don't, I forgot how old I was, I probably was like 11 years old, you know what I'm saying? And the group home that I was in, it was plush, you know what I'm saying? It was like a baby college, it had everything on it, you know what I'm saying? Everything on it. When I say everything on it, I'm talking about everything on it. Now look, one day we sitting in the, um, we sitting in the TV room and we watching news before we go to breakfast. You know what I'm saying? Because we go to breakfast and then we go to school. You know what I'm saying? So we sitting in the TV room because we got a few minutes to kill before we go to breakfast. We walk down to the, the, the dining area and everybody eat. You know what I'm saying? That's on the compound or whatever, right? So And, and the compound is consisted of chicks and dudes. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to get back to my Pleasantville stories one day because I only gave y'all part one of Pleasantville, but I'm going to give y'all part two coming up soon. You heard? You know what I'm saying? Because there's a lot of people that still want to hear my Pleasantville stories. Now, look. One day I'm sitting, we sitting in the day on the TV room in Pleasantville, and it's breaking news. You heard breaking news out of Brooklyn, Prospect Park. You heard some young kid. You heard, yeah, some young Spanish kid out of Brooklyn, about 11 years old, same ages. On a deer got got um snuck into the um the bear encampment. Yeah, the polar bear encampment. Yeah. Late at night when nobody is in the zoo, the zoo is closed down. You heard him and his friends, they snuck into the zoo, the Prospect Zoo out there in Brooklyn. You heard, I forgot what year it was. I think it was 86, 87. I don't know. I can't remember exactly what year I was. I just know the kid was 11 and I was about 11. And everybody, all of us was kids. All of us was, um, college 16 that I was in was from age 10 to, um, to 13. So all the kids was was we, our eyes was glued on the on the TV. We, we was glued on the TV, breaking news. You understand what I'm saying? And basically, they was like, yeah, this, this young kid he snuck into the um polar bear encampment on a deer. Yeah, a deer. Because back in the days coming up, a lot of people got dead to do a lot of things. You know what I'm saying? We came up in that. You know what I'm saying? Playing with guns, um, daring niggas to jump. Dudes used to be jumping roofs. Dudes be used to be on back of trains. You heard back of the train carts. Dudes used to um, ride the back of the bus. You know what I'm saying? Dudes used to be playing in between the train carts and all that. There's a lot of things that you dudes used to do for play. But there's a lot of things that you things. There's a lot of things that dudes used to do for dares. You understand what I'm saying? And I heard this young kid. His little, his little friends, they dared him to go into the polar bear encampment. You know what I'm saying? The polar bear encampment. He climbed two fence and went over a stream of water and went up in the bear encampment in, into the cave. And guess what happened to him, y'all? His friends said all they heard was a, a, a light scream and a thud. thud. Real quick. You understand what I'm saying? Because you know what happened? I heard them polar bears knock the wind out that kid. You know what I'm saying? And then they attacked him. You heard? You know what I'm saying? They attacked him. And guess what happened with his friends? They ran, y'all. They ran and left him. You heard? There's nothing they could do anyway because they didn't climb over that gate. They didn't go into that cave. Only one kid did it. And we got to say, that kid must have been slow. He had to be slow. You understand what I'm saying? But back in the days, a lot of kids lost their life by doing things such as that. I remember I had a friend from my building. He went to the side of the river. He went to um, the 55th Street Bridge over there to the side of the river. You heard the part where there's no rail in that and all that. And, and and this friend that he was with didn't probably didn't have the best interest in him. So as a deer, he dared the young boy to jump in the river. And guess what the young boy did? He jumped in the river. You heard? From my building. You know what I'm saying? And then I remember word was coming back. They was like, this dude might have pushed him in the river, or pushed him in the river. But I remember dudes ran down him on the, in the hood. And I believe police ran down on him too. And he said that he 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 was they was playing and he dared to do 
He didn't think he was going to do it, but he said, yo, why don't you jump in the river? And the nigga said, and the nigga jumped in the river. And we ain't see the kid ever since. We ain't see the kid ever since. And that was a sad situation that happened in my building with the dude in my building. You heard? You know what I'm saying? I think his name was Randy. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man. You heard? That was a sad situation. So back in the days, dudes used to lose their life doing, doing petty shit, doing on dares. You heard? You know what I'm saying? Playing games. You heard? You got to watch who you was with. You got to watch who you was around. Because some people don't really have in your best interest. They'll tell you, yo, I dare you to do this. I, I dare you to do that. Knowing that that shit might in your life, knowing that shit might hurt you, you understand what I'm saying, but they want to see how stupid you are to do some things, you know what I'm saying, just like I remember when I was young, I was like six years old, seven years old, probably about six years old, and um, you had these dudes, on six, seven, you heard, this dude and his sister and his younger brother, you know what I'm saying, and they used to come to my building to jump rules, you heard, because my building was close to another building in th on the roof, you heard? So they used to go up there and they used to jump roofs, you heard? That's what I heard that they used to do. But one day, the older brother, he was jumping roof with his sister and his younger brother. The bus how his sister jumped the roof, made it. His younger brother jumped the roof, made it. When the older brother went to jump the roof, guess what happened to him, y'all? He fell. He slipped. He, he was holding on to the clothesline, and then he fell. Boom! Me and a whole bunch of us as kids was playing in front of the building. I'm telling you, I'm like six years old at the time. This is when you can't, can't go nowhere but in front of the building. You understand what I'm saying? So I'm in front of the building. Me and other kids, we playing up and down. All we hear is a loud thud. Boom! You heard? Then you hear like a moaning sound. So we, we run instantly down the basement. That's separating the two buildings that where the people were putting the garbage at, mainly, you heard? And we run down there where the rats be at. So we run down there and we see in between the buildings, we see a dude laying on the floor moaning, you heard? A dude. Yeah. So we see a dude laying on the floor moaning. So he like, he like, ah, uh, mm. But he not doing it like that, exactly. He is more like, mm. But I swear to God, y'all, it's the first time I seen a person brains out their head. Yeah, man. His brains was out his head. And we, us as kids, we was, me and that we was playing in front of the building. Soon as he hit the floor, we was the first ones to arrive on the scene. You heard? We was the first ones to arrive on the scene. So we looking over him. And I'm, I'm one of the first kids looking over him like this. Shock. Like, yo. Nigga fell off the roof. At the time, I'm thinking, we thinking, I think that he just fell off the roof. But then we found out that he was jumping rules. And we found out the story. His sister, he jumping rules with his sister and his younger brother. And it's the older brother. And he fell. And he caught on to, he was holding on to the clothesline. And he, you know, that popped because, you know, the weight is over. You heard? But the worst shit of it was the brain, the brain matter was laying out his head. You know what I'm saying? And I'm right there like. Then the adults came and said, get out of here, get out of here, kids, get out of here, get out of here. But it was too late. It was already too late. You know what I'm saying? And I remember all his family came from up the block. They, they lived up there by 6, 7, Sherman, or Sheridan and Sherman. You heard? Like 6, 8. And they all came down the block. And they was crying. And, yo, the whole neighborhood was crying. I was even crying, I think. You heard? I was even crying. The shit was crazy, man. I was like six years old when that happened, B. I seen a person brain matter out of his head from falling off the roof. You know what I'm saying? From jumping roofs, you heard? So back in the days, there was a lot of kids that lost their life. A lot of kids that lost their life over dares. You heard? Over dares. Growing up in New York City was treacherous, B. You heard? Because you could roll around with friends, but just because you roll around with friends doesn't mean that they really your friend. Back in the days when you growing up young, it's, it's important that you have this. It's important that you have your own mind because a lot of them dudes that didn't have their own mind or a lot of them dudes that were slow, you heard? They not here with us, man. They not here with us, man. So I just gave y'all three stories, three stories of dudes, you know what I'm saying, that did somebody that they supposed to fuck with or mess with as a friend or a, 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 a boy or comrade and 
Nigga did a nigga to go up in the polar bear encampment. Nigga, nigga, the polar bears knocked the wind out. That nigga ate that nigga up. You heard it. Yo, that was it with Shorty. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not even saying it on no wild shit. I'm just keeping it real, man. I was a kid watching that shit like, oh, my God. I, yo, I would never do no crazy shit like that. I'm crazy, but I would never do nothing like that, man. You know what I'm saying? Whoa, man. And then, yo, I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, man, there's a lot of people that lost their life or they know somebody that lost their life over some crazy shit playing on elevators. You heard? There's people that lost their life in the hood playing on elevators, falling down elevator shafts and all that. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy stuff we used to do, jumping on jumping rules on the back of the bus, on, on back of the train. Now, look at these dudes now. They doing surfing on the top of trains and all that now. These kids busting their heads wide open. You heard? Busting their heads wide open. And when I look at them, I'm like, yo, what make these young kids do some dumb shit like that? But I got to think about it. What would have made me do some of the dumb shit that I was doing? You heard? Dangerous shit that I was doing. You heard? Yeah, man. Ugly out here.